Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and honored guests. One week ago today, on February 7th, we celebrated the birthday of our son, Jacob Chaim, also known as Jakey. He just turned two. So tonight, Jakey, I will celebrate you by sharing a little bit about you and all the fun you bring into our lives. To our sweet, crazy, fun, wild little guy. I can't believe where two years has gone. It feels like yesterday sometimes that you decided you were ready to waltz into our world. Like Miley Cyrus saying in 2013, you came in like a wrecking ball and nothing has changed. You're still a wrecking ball. You just couldn't wait the extra three weeks that you were supposed to be due. From the moment you were born, you were a crazy, silly little goofball. You just had to be early. But it's okay. You're like mommy that way. So you just have to be early and on time for everything. Daddy and I love seeing how you grow and develop and all the cool new things you do every day. From hearing all the words you're picking up to walking around, jumping, kicking, throwing balls, hitting the hockey, balls with hockey sticks in your new golf clubs. Hockey and golf you get from daddy, not from me. When you're not running around and playing with some kind of ball, sometimes you like to just sit and read a book that you get from me. I love seeing the different sides of you running around with a hockey stick or playing in the playground one minute. The next minute, you're just chilling with a good book. It's exciting to see which Jakey I'll get throughout the day. You also make us laugh and keep us on your, our toes, which you have been doing since the day you were born. I love that you, that you like to drink tea at such a young age. I don't know how many two-year-olds with such sophisticated taste. You substitute with the TV remote for a phone, which you call your hello. We just have to remember to make sure it's the fake remote with the without the batteries. We also have to take away the portable phone at grandma and grandpa's house before you accidentally call someone. On the same note, we have to be on top of you when you have we have one of our phones. So far, you've only taken a screenshot. Let's keep it that way. Speaking of keeping us on our toes, Jakey, stop wrestling with your sister and don't run in the street. On a bit of a serious note, you've also taught daddy and me about the fragility of life. As I mentioned earlier, Jakey was born a little early. Some of you may also know that he was born at home with the umbilical cord wrapped around his neck. The home part was unplanned. Turns out mommy was in labor all day, but I didn't think it was real. I guess we're the goofballs. That was a very scary moment for us. And as I said, reminded us of how fragile life is. As a side note, as a side note, it's a Jewish tradition to give charity on one's birthday. We also give give tzedakah, when I, which is Hebrew for charity, when I light the candles before the Sabbath every week. It's tradition to set aside some coins for tzedakah, but for, as I said, for charity. You and your sister Nava love putting pennies in the tzedakah box before I light candles every Friday night. It's become part of our routine for the Sabbath. With the tzedakah we give each week, we will donate to causes that are meaningful to us. The organizations Daddy and I chose are Project Akiva and the Kobe Mandel Project a Foundation. Project Akiva provides families facing the devastating loss of a child and siblings the chance to travel in order to begin the healing process. While thank God we don't know the feeling of losing a child, we had a brief sense of that, the terrifying moment you were born. Plus, mommy and daddy love to travel, and we want to share that experience with families who need it. The Kobe Mandel Foundation provides fun and excitement to children in Israel who've lost family members in terrorist attacks. Given everything going on there, as well as the ties you have, strong ties you have to Israel, with many family members living there, it makes sense to provide support for people for children who need a good time. I don't, I know you don't understand the good you're doing right now, but we love seeing you help people around you at such a young age. Daddy, Nava, Dexter, and I love you so much. We're excited to see you grow up and celebrate more milestones each year. And I mean it. Stop wrestling with your sister and stop running in the street. Happy birthday, little guy, or should I say, a wrecking ball. <laughs>